have to admit, I think I just pulled off the biggest video production and photography gig that Lowell Productions has done so far in its roughly, I guess, year and a half of existence. We are here in Orlando, Florida for Revolution 2022, which is our annual event to identify, mobilize, train, and educate students to make Liberty win. Revolution 2022 had an incredible speaker lineup. You know, I, I was wondering if the revolution was still alive and well, and it looks like the revolution is very much alive. Thank you. Tulsi Gabbard told us why we must bring our troops home. Now what was unique and a first time thing for me is I normally operate as a one man band. So even for photography, which is not my specialty, I'll go in, I'll do it myself. Videography, interviews, event recaps. 90% of the time it's just me doing the capturing everything and also editing. But for the first time, we shopped out some of the photography and videography, and I am thrilled to introduce you to these videographers and these photographers and give you guys an insight on how we were able to recap this entire three-day event. Okay, so at this point, we are roughly, uh, I guess you could say like, we're an hour out here pretty soon. We'll be in Orlando, we'll be at our destination, and it'll be time to grind and work. And uh, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. So we just got done uh, looking at the venue space for the first time. And this is one thing that I like to do whenever I first arrive to a place where I'm gonna be filming for a few days is just take one camera, a little bit of gear, and just go check out where we're gonna be and like where our home base is. Um, so that's what we just got done doing. Um, that way, when we decide to, which we're about to, pack up all this gear, put it in our little cart. At least we know kind of the best way to get to where we need to go and where we're gonna actually be taking all the gear. In the past, I used to just walk up with all the gear in hand and it was just an absolute nightmare because you might walk into a situation where they go, no, you know what, we're actually really far away or they just don't even have room for your stuff. Okay, so we're all packed up. And I think you guys can see the cart back there. This thing, man, whew, uh, I think we got it at Costco and it really just has come in handy. Uh, we've got the desk, we've got the laptop, we've got some tripods. Right. So we're about to enter the venue space for the first time. And you guys can kind of see back here. So these guys back here, they're completely gonna be assembling the stage, all the goodies for the event for the next four days. This little pocket way back in the back corner will be where my team will live. One thing that we're kind of looking to do here is kind of create this into a bit of a power station, which is why I've got my uh, big old kind of like rolly four prong here. We can keep this station nice and clean. We'll be out of people's way. I think that's the best way to go about it is to have your operation clean, set up, out of place, out of mind. And I think people appreciate that quite a bit. And so that's what we're kind of doing here. This will be the home base for Team Lowell Productions for the photographers, the videographers. And hopefully it'll be nice and user-friendly in regards to just being able to quickly grab anything and everything that we want. So it's that portion where we discuss the task at hand and deliverables on a day-to-day -day basis, plus some of the gear that we're gonna be using for this particular event. Now, the client and I had agreed in regards to photography that we would be delivering at least one edited photo of each speaker at the end of each day on top of a handful of photos that were kind of your crowd shots, uh, people getting together, people kind of having a good time. Now, that was to be delivered at the end of each night. That way, the client could use it for the following day. Now, in regards to video, we were going to be delivering one 30 to 60 second recap video of that particular day. So, a combination of shooting slow motion, 24 frames per second, the speakers talking, B-roll, you name it. We were to package together and deliver it to the client. That way they could use it for social. Now we delivered a traditional version, a square version, and a vertical version. That way it could be shared across all platforms. Now the goal here in regards to photography and videography is to just package it so that the client kind of just downloads it, they get it on their phones, they get it on their computers, and they can just disperse it in regards to on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that was to be repeated for all three days, which we definitely excelled at and was very happy. Now I gotta be honest, it was an absolute grind because you gotta figure you're doing photography and videography throughout the entire day while also juggling kind of, you know, having your files where they need to be, getting them off cards, make sure your battery's good, also editing the photography and the videography. Now at the end of the entire event, 
one thing that we had to do was deliver a final recap video. Now that was a combination of all days of footage that we kind of packaged together in regards to the social clips. Plus we did interviews throughout. Now these interviews were to be purposely interjected into the recap video to kind of guide the viewer along. So we interviewed some of the staff, we interviewed people that attended the event, and we packaged it all together in regards to the final product. Now I wanna say we probably let's say had six or seven people in this video that were interviewed and I probably interviewed about 20 people. So it's one of those situations where it's always better to get more than to have too little. Um, on top of that, photography wise, the guys did a bunch of headshots. They came out great. They also shot some behind the scenes photography of the team. And overall, they, they like I said, they had delivered on their end of things and I was extremely happy. But I put their butts to work and they know that for sure. Shout out to Che and Emma and Eli all for help there. They did a fantastic job. Now in regards to equipment that was used, I'll touch over that really quickly. The A cam or the camera that was used the most was the Lumex S5, whether it be for interviews, for B-roll. The vast majority of the footage that I was shooting was with that Lumex S5. On top of that, I had my Lumex uh, GH5, which was shooting, you know, B-roll, time lapses, things of that nature. On top of, we also had the Old Faithful GH4 shooting back a room, time lapses, things of that nature. Now, Eli had his, I wanna say Canon R5 on a DJI gimbal with a 24 to 105 Canon piece of glass pretty much this old faithful using autofocus and he was shooting 60 frames per second which came in handy it was a nice combination to have my 24 frames per second on the s5 plus some slow-mo and then eli shooting the 60 frames and when he wasn't using his gimbal he was then hopping on his personal gh5 and shooting footage as well and in regards to audio we were just using the old faithful stenhauser i want to say g3 going to into the Zoom H6. So if we weren't using the Zoom H6, we were going directly into the S5. I find that that gets pretty good audio, but if I have time and I'm able to, the H6 just gets great audio. Now on top of that, in regards to shooting all the interviews, we just used the Old Faithful 24 to 105 that was hooked up to the Lumex S5. So we're shooting F4, shooting in big long hallways. Um, we did have the ability, we were actually lighting the interviewee with my Wii light. Um, I had a V-mount battery on it and I had a small rig mini dome two, I think, I don't know, whichever one's 99 bucks. Uh, really, we just had that because we needed some light and then I needed to be quick and mobile. Eli could carry it with me while I was carrying the camera. Made us really mobile and I think that's going to be like kind of what you need to weigh out in these particular environments. As a team and as an individual is like, bring what you need, but also can you kind of narrow it down to the absolute must have things. For instance, I absolutely used the 70 to 200 a ton, whether it be on the a, uh, GH5 or whether it be on the Lumix S5, this lens came in handy mainly because we're in a big, big event space. And so it's like the 24 to 105 or the 70 to 200. And Eli's basically rocking the equivalent on his Canon and on his GH5. That is kind of the overall cameras, the lenses, tripods, we're using nothing special, just man Frodo's, uh, gimbals, we were running the DJI and then also a Weeble S. And uh, yeah, unique, unique event that I did last year by myself from the video side and I teamed up with my buddy Jesse to do the photography. But this year, bigger budgets, bigger space, bigger venue, and uh, so a bigger team. And these guys rocked and rolled. And I hope you guys found this very useful or just insightful in regards to kind of a strategy, a tactic, and how we tackled it and how many people it took. So I'm out. Peace. Thank you.